Oh, go on. They're wonderful big scales on them. Alright, a little bit of mullet fishing today. I'm not too hopeful. There's a bit of peatiness to the water. We obviously had a bit more rain on the moors than uh, I thought. So we'd had a couple of days of dry weather, it would have cleared through a bit more, but obviously not. But let's see. You never know. Got to be in it to win it. So I'm just doing the same as I did on the chub fishing video the other day, or the last mullet fishing video if you've seen it. I'm just mixing up some bread. Nothing different, nothing exciting. You can add various things to this if you want. You can, uh, you can have various flavours. Some of the match fishing flavours. Like cheese, blue cheese. Um, aniseed's another good flavour for mullet. I can see mullet up above this bridge, so obviously they're around. And uh, tuna's another good flavour. Anything you could think a mullet would like, they'll have a go at it. Uh, Brasm's another good flavour. That's a bream angler's favourite. Old flavour that is. That catches mullet. I've used that for mullet before. Discovered that by accident. Put some in some ground bait. Uh, I was thinking it was blue cheese and it turned out to be brasm and it worked a treat. But you don't have to do that you can just do what i'm doing now being a bit lazy this is sort of off the cuff session this one mash up some bread in your hands fish fish bread flake and catch mullet so all i'm doing is throwing it up tide well in this case it's down tide but there's a back eddy and then it's as it sinks it's flowing and it's going to end up in front of my swim well, that's the plan so I'll put about five slices or so in there. Not too much, but a reasonable amount. Our gear for today. Um, gonna use the uh, Cadence CS6 3000 M. It's got, I think it's eight bow bearings in it. Looks a treat, and line level done, line lay doesn't look bad at all, it looks quite good. And a uh, nice smooth drag, quite a smooth reel. A minute you can get two of these for 59.99 amazing value for money and i'm going to team that up with my 16 foot cadence c10 power 2 match rod i see how we go from there before i forget i've put um dread and float fish 3.2 pound line on that so here's the hooks i'm using the uh, drenon eyed barbless carp match hooks super sharp nice wide gape in a size 8 just about the right size for uh, fishing this bread flake I used Oh, got on. Yeah. Right in that spot where I wanted to get it. He feels quite good. Yeah, he's a good one, mate. He's a big one. It's about size. He's a good three pound, not more. Oh, yeah. What I'll do is I'll take him over to the oh, steps. Kind of steps. Yeah. Yeah, he's a nice thick body one. He's pulling a bit, isn't he? He's a nice one, isn't he? I thought he was a decent size because he stayed deep. Well, they do feed in this peaty water. That's nice to know. Oh, he's as big as I thought, but he's, he's a decent one. He's a thick, thick body one. All right, let's film this. Nice. He's a good two and a half pound, I'd say. See him fighting in the flow here. 
it's just a little shoulder of them just held up there. Like, probably like you got a little shoulder of them here, yeah. just holding up in a feature. You have to drop your rod down for me. Your rod tip's just in the way. It's only your rod tip. Okay. I can get it up above it then. Get it past it. <laughs> Hang on. Let's loosen the drag off a bit. God, he's strong as hell, this fish. I could, the two I caught the other day were... Uh, yeah. They fought hard. This one's really going for it. I think there's quite a bit more flow today. We won't rush him. What I'll do is I'll bring him up above you and he'll drop back to you okay. when he's ready. Which isn't long actually, he isn't as big as I thought. He looked really big, he felt really big at first. Oh. Right, yeah, stick your net out and then I'll bring him to you. You just keep the net still. No, no, don't lunge at it. You just keep dead still. If I... He's, he's still... He's not as big as I thought. Now he's woke up a bit, he's just going everywhere. He's just... When he was flashing over there, he looked a lot bigger. It's a decent size one, though. Yeah, get your net lower in the water, mate. That's it. Yeah. Don't, don't, you just keep still. I'll just bring him to you, because otherwise what happens is he'll charge and you'll bump him off with a thing. <laughs> right, he's flashing. Right, you keep your net still. Right. There he comes. Got him? Yeah. Right, just ship him back towards you. Right, here you go, viewers. Another mullet. Put him up on the grass and unlock him. Yeah, he fought like hell. He's decent size, actually. He's a good two, two, two and a half pound or something. He's hooked to treat, so he wasn't going anywhere. These hooks are amazing. Oh, that's a nice one. Let's make sure. They have wonderful big scales on them. You can see they're a beautiful mullet. He's only about two pound actually. He's not as big as he, he fought well. They do, don't have fight, especially if you've got a bit of current. Can you just watch no one stands on me rod? Okay, yeah, I'll bring it up. While I release him. There you go, he's quite a deep body fish. That's why he uh, looked a bit bigger at first. But they're all nice fish. <laughs> it's tricky to do. I'm holding the camera with one hand, the net with the other, and the fish just wants to swim the wrong way. <laughs> there he goes. Had to flip him out of the net in the end. Alright, so we've got to wait for another show to come through now. <laughs>